chances of a re-rupture are the same chances of Corey Kinchin coming back to YouTube within a nine month period. The smoothest to do it. So this is like my, this is like my second time dribbling an actual basketball in two months. As you can tell, <clears throat> I'm not really moving my, my right leg much because I'm not doing explosive movements yet. Most I've been approved to do is like dribble around while walking and then shooting. Can't even shoot normal because my leg won't bend. So I kind of got to do the old head shuffle where they're like straight leg and you know, the chances of me re-tearing this after it, after I finish therapy and all that, it's like a 1% chance according to my surgeon and my therapist. So chances of a re-rupture are the same chances of Corey Kinchin coming back to YouTube within a nine month period. Slow progress is better than no progress. One step forward is better than uh, no steps forward. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know when I'm going to release the, the 1v1 to be honest, because I want to release it when I'm able to like at least run. That way I'm able to at least like train people better instead of just me like walking it out and stuff. Finished up with the boot last week. All right, back to explaining the fit. Kyrie three lows. Gorge green colorway. Dude, this is like a pretty green. In the lab, of course, Zoro from the, obviously the anime one piece, but from the, the anime collection that Dev dropped a few years ago during the pandemic. It was one piece. I did not get the, the Luffy shorts. I wanted them, but they sold out the second I went on the site. And then the shirt, shout out Bielis, shout out Louisiana. That's where a lot of my family's from, actually. Oh, I'm about to make a name for myself out here in this heat. Shout out Bielis, never be defeated brand. Now this shirt is part of the TCMW collection, The Calm Man Wins. Ah, voice crack, The Calm Man Wins. Very comfortable shirt. It's got Never Be Defeated on the front. On the back it has The Calm Man Wins, as you can clearly see. Great quality. Moisture wicking. I like my sleeves to be up a little bit, but that's just me. Good stuff, B. Brandon. I'm finna get out of this heat and sit in shade for a little bit, then head home to film the rest of this video. I'm finna go back to my apartment and film the rest of the uh, documentary portion. Jesus Christ, I didn't expect it to like fall over that hard. I'm over here. There we go. I'm sorry, this, this robot is a little dumb. It thought the. <laughs> Oh, my ball was my head. That is, yeah. Gonna head home to do that. Got some boxes to throw in the recycling as well. I will catch y'all at the house. <laughs> well, at the back. What are you doing? Welcome to week six, everybody. So week six has had some interesting developments, and I'm out the boot now. <laughs> I'm out the boot now, okay? So I can walk everywhere I want to. Um, shoes, no shoes, whatever. I no longer need the assistance of the boot. So how that works is I get up in the morning, I wake up, not feeling like P. Diddy. So the developments are this. So technically Monday was my first day without the boot, walking around work and everything with shoes on. Much better. So Monday was my first day uh, going everywhere with just shoes, no boot. It was kind of nice. Only thing is the tendon was super tight at the beginning of the week. If you remember the clip where my doctor said to put the belt under my foot and stretch it out, I'm glad I didn't do that because my physical therapist said, no, we're not stretching until like in a few weeks. I'm glad I didn't stretch it out because I ain't trying to have an elongated tendon. I, I needs to play the ball. So let's get that out the way right now. The smoothest to do it. So t this week started physical therapy. That was Wednesday. Uh, that was August 14th. And my first PT session was kind of chill, really. Shout out Michelle, my phys my physical therapist. Wow, dyslexic for show, bro. My physical therapist, um, she's actually really good at her job. So how it started was I, I didn't get to film because I'm going to ask their permission first if I can film my sessions. Uh, I'll probably do that today, I'll ask. Um, but started off just showing the range of motion. So, you know, here's my foot. Oh, how far can you bend it up towards? Okay, do that. And then don't let me push down and just showing the strength on the healthy foot and then did it on the post-surgical right achilles so i'm uh quite a few degrees off in terms of full range of motion um i got a massage did you just fart on my couch saw the range of motion the strength and then i got a like a really deep tissue massage on the achilles and the calf uh, to loosen it up now it only hurt for like the first two seconds 
Um, it was mostly to get like the inflammation out and to <clears throat> relax the tendon and the scar tissue to kind of get that uh, out of there. So that was good. That got done and it was, it was way easier to walk after that was done. Did that and then got started on the banded uh, flexion. So I can do seated calf raises, okay? I have to do those at least Sorry, I just get really paranoid. And this is something you'll understand if you've had the injury. You get really paranoid when you're like going to do something and then all of a sudden like... So I just got really paranoid for a second. Almost went into a panic attack. Like legit because I was like, oh my god, what's happening? I forgot it takes time for you to get that full like motion and feeling and, and everything back. It's not nerve damage. It's just like it takes time for your body to realize you can use that part of your, your leg again. Anyway before i like have an anxiety attack i haven't had one of those in a hot minute did the massage did the banded flexion and then the seated calf raises talked a little bit about the injury and outlining the treatment plan here scheduled the concurrent and following appointments uh, so i'll be going twice a week um, each session is about an hour and i won't be able to play basketball until like march <laughs> so um that's a little update on that uh just because she wants to make sure i have full strength range of motion flexibility and explosion before i get back to playing fully so i'll be able to train people by the time i'm running so whenever i'm able to run which is actually in a few months it should be whenever i'm able to do a single leg calf raise with my right leg i'll be able to run and jog that's when i'll restart like training alongside uh students trainees whatever yeah that's when i'll start doing like okay like full force training like showing the full movements with trainees and students and all that just so i'm able to keep up and when i'm able to run and jog i'll do that for now it'll be like okay show me your footage i'm gonna break it down tell you what you need to work on give you a workout uh for these areas you need to work on or do it like okay i'll make a video about it explaining so that way more people can benefit from it we'll just see how it goes um about to go on vacation when i release this video i'll already be back so <laughs> you ain't robbing me bruh um the reason i'm doing like a lot of walking and stuff like that is to prep for that so that way i have at least some stamina that's pretty much it i've been able to i've been able to actually wear some of the some of the new shoes i got right the Kyrie threes you see in the video at the court this is not an injury you should have if you have like chronic anxiety bruh now there will be some different videos coming like i have the obviously the achilles videos every week there's going to be a ball handling ball manipulation um workout mic'd up video coming that was for filmed like a month before i got injured just breaking down other people's game instead of reactions it's going to be film review so breaking down the footwork um kind of the thought that goes into the basketball side of things and things like that i'm going to do a video about nutrition as well as an athlete i have another uh draw the play podcast episode that will be about park basketball versus organized ball and why they're each beneficial in their own right, but park basketball will actually get you prepared for a lot more situations, to be honest. And that's pretty much it. Week six has been an eventful week. I'm able to walk on my own. I get to physical therapy. I can drive. Physical therapy is nice. Um, I can pretty much live life as normal besides like the obvious. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Use my discount codes below. Check out the, the folks below who've also had Achilles tears who've helped me with their videos down below all that good stuff subscribe whatever you know ah, this light is bright <sighs> and you're still watching why are you still here bruh how did you even get in my house like and you're just staring standing staring at me i don't get it bruh intruder alert intruder alert where's my dog when you need her i'll probably sleep because she's not a guard dog she's not even a palm she's a german spitz for crying out loud she can't guard nothing she barks at the dryer when it goes off and the toaster oven when my toast is done but when someone knocks on the door someone just walks in she's greeting them with open arms what kind of guard whatever bruh done